Hello everybody, welcome to Dashboard Confessions. I'm singing again for no reason, except that I'm alive. You know, sometimes I'm really dorky. <laughs> Actually, we talk to my friends, they'd say most of the time, but that's okay. As I've said before, I embrace all of who I am, my uh, perfect imperfections. Or maybe that's not even an imperfection, that's just a trait, I'm a dork. Anyway, I'm on my way to my auditions. Um, I decided to, as I said in the beginning of this year, uh, that I'm just going to give my all, meaning that I'm going to do what makes me happy. I'm going to put my all into everything and then release it, meaning live with love, do what makes me happy, do all these things, and then just let it go. I can't you know, be attached to how things should be. And uh, I did the same thing with my acting career. I said, all right, you know, I'll submit myself for auditions. I'll do what I can do and whatever's supposed to happen will happen. And I got a call for an agency to meet with. And then I, another audition came up. And then as I was getting ready for that one audition, another audition came. So today I feel like a real actor because I'm going to two different auditions, opposite sides of town, had to bring a change of clothes because one is for an agent and then the other is for a commercial. Exciting. And, uh, as I said, I've been having anxiety and I think if you've been watching my videos for a long time, it was probably, gosh, I only had anxiety one other time in my life and there was a situation in my household that was causing that. And, but I haven't had it since then. So there's like this thing that's just sitting there and I'm not really sure what it is. I don't feel that I feel anxious, but my body is telling me differently as I, you know, it's, there's. So it's like, you know when you have something sitting in your stomach and you're like, oh, I just want that to go away. Like, that's kind of how the chest thing is. So, uh, I almost feel like, this is going to sound weird or kooky, but I almost feel like, because I've been doing a lot of releasing and learning about the ego and what it is, and you hear me talk a lot about it, but I, part of my New Year's resolution was to really work on that because I feel like it's the last thing that, you know, for me, success in life and career and all these things and just honestly like personal freedom, like release is just to let that ego go. And of course, ego, as I've said, is not like, oh, I'm so great. Ego is anything that's opposite of love, edging God out. That's what it stands for. Anything that is not of God, of love, of universe, whatever you want to call it. And so ever since I've been like releasing, I almost feel like this here in my chest is kind of like it's moving through my body. I know that sounds strange, but I feel like it's... My ego wants to hold on so badly. It's like, you're not going to be happy. You're still going to live in fear. You're still going to live in, you know, with guilt or anxiety or, you know, about your past, about this, about all these things, you know, whatever it is. And, but my faith, what I've been saying lately, and it feels so good. I wake up in the morning and all day long, I'm going, my faith is bigger than my fear. My faith is bigger than my fear. My faith is bigger than my fear. And even just saying it makes me feel so much better and so much more powerful. And that's what I say to you. You hear people talking about affirmations and honestly, I used to think affirmations were dumb or dorky too. Like I am a beautiful person. I love myself. I, I understand it sounds weird and it sounds like corny and kooky, when you actually say those words to yourself and you take them seriously, you start believing it and it just actually brings this other physiological change to yourself. So throughout the day and when I wake up and I go, my faith is bigger than my fear, it just makes me feel more in my power, more in my light, you know? So I'm just encouraging, gosh, I can't see anything. I'm just encouraging you to be in your light, to stand in your light, to stand in your truth and do whatever it takes. And some of you might say, and I've said this before, or I've written it before, that you don't, you can't have faith in your life because of things that have happened in your life. But the thing is, is that you do have faith. You do. You just have faith in the wrong things. You have faith that your life's going to go wrong. You have faith that nothing's going to work out for you. You have faith in everything negative. So just flip the switch, turn your faith in a different direction. If none of that's worked for you before, so how about start having faith in yourself? Faith that everything is on your side. Life is on your side. You are on your side. Love is on your side. And it doesn't matter what things have happened to you in the past. The only time that that's ever going to limit you is if you choose to allow that to limit you. If you choose to allow those circumstances to take over your life and not make you try and live and do all those things, you are giving the power to the circumstances, not the circumstances. Anyway, I'm getting on the highway now, and I love you all. Thank you for watching Dashboard Confessions. And uh, hopefully, if it will be, I'll have an agent soon. Bye.